Hello everybody, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to make some fun coffee mugs with vinyl decals. I'll test a bunch of different kinds and brands of vinyl to find out which ones work best so you don't have to. I'll look at which vinyls are the easiest to cut, weed, and of course, apply to your mug. And I'll share which ones hold up the best in the dishwasher. I've got a lot to show you, so let's get started. I believe that if you're going to do a craft, most of the time it really pays off to use the best materials that you can to save frustration, time, and money. Knowing which materials those are is an entirely different story, of course. There are too many brands and types to test, especially when it comes to vinyl. You don't have time for that. <laughs> Luckily, I do because it's my job to test things out and share the results and recommendations with you. I hear from a lot of you wanting to know which vinyl is easiest to work with for ceramic mugs and then actually stay in place even through dishwashing. There's a lot of conflicting information on this craft. I got a little carried away and I tested nine different kinds of vinyl across four different brands. So today I'll walk you through how to apply three of those and then we'll compare the results at the end. We're gonna look at how they cut, weeded and applied, which ones look and feel the best, as well as which ones stood up in the dishwasher. I don't know about you, but that is an important factor, right? Yes, it totally is, all right. So adding vinyl to mugs is really pretty simple. It's really just about getting your materials and technique down. Any ceramic mug with a smooth, plain uh, surface will do. And a cutting machine makes it really easy to create the decals. Super easy. I'll show you how to do the whole thing on my tiny but mighty Cricut Joy, but my free downloadable files work with most cutting machines or you can even cut them by hand if you're feeling adventurous. Other than that, you just need adhesive or iron-on vinyl. <laughs> so I'm putting Cricut, Oracle, Caesar, and HTV vinyl to the test. You'll also want a couple of other materials and tools that you can find in the list on my blog over at jennifermaker.com 498. It should also be linked right below this video. And yes, you heard me right. I'm also testing iron-on vinyl. So we're using both permanent adhesive vinyl and iron-on vinyl. And I'll show you how that works in a little bit. So let me show you how to get my super cute coffee mug designs and then we can start the testing. Step one, get my free vinyl designs for coffee mugs. Go to jennifermaker.com 498 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or enter the library. Search the page for design number 498 and when you find it, click it to download the zip file. The download folder includes six hand lettered coffee related designs for you to choose from. You can cut these on any cutting machine, but today I will show you how to cut these on a Cricut. So upload the SVG file to Cricut Design Space and add it to your canvas. If you're not sure how to do this, go to jennifermaker.com SVGS to learn how to unzip and upload SVG files. Step two, prepare and cut your coffee mug decals. I'm not gonna use all of the designs today, so I'll click the collection and use ungroup to separate them. Now I'll delete the designs I don't want to make. I'll keep But First Coffee, Life Begins After Coffee, and It's Always Coffee Time. <laughs> you can choose whichever ones you like, of course. These decals are ready to cut for standard 12 to 15 ounce mugs. If you're using a different size or style of mug, Feel free to resize them. Just keep that lock icon at the top closed to maintain the proportions. And I'll be using my Cricut Joy today, so I'm gonna change the machine now to make sure they will fit on my mat. Everything looks awesome. Now let's change the color of the decals so they cut on different mats for testing. I want to test black permanent vinyl for butt first coffee, so I'll leave it as is. But I'll change Life Begins After Coffee to red for some of Cricut's pretty red shimmer vinyl. I want to use Cricut's black iron-on vinyl for the last design, but if I leave it black, my machine will cut it on the same mat as the first decal. 
This is an easy fix though. Just change the design to another color so it goes on a new mat. Your Cricut doesn't know which color material you actually put on your mat. And now we're ready to cut. Make sure the correct machine is selected and click make it. If you're prompted, select on mat. And if you're using a Cricut Joy like I am, choose the four and a half by six and a half inch mat size and then click confirm. The first mat is the gray mat, which is our black iron-on vinyl, so it needs to be mirrored. That's another reason to put it on its own mat. Toggle the mirror switch to the on position. We don't need to mirror the other mats because they'll use adhesive vinyl. Select the first mat and click continue. Now the testing really begins. Make sure you set the correct material for each mat. For the iron-on design, I will select everyday iron-on. If you don't see the right material for your screen, click Browse All Materials and search for it. Under Pressure, I always like to select More because it gives me the cleanest cuts. Use your brayer to adhere your iron-on vinyl to your green standard grip machine mat with the shiny side down. One of the reasons I love the Cricut Joy for testing is because I can use up scraps really easily this way. Just make sure your vinyl covers the area to be cut and doesn't go past the mat's lines. Make sure your blade is clean and then load the mat into your Cricut. Once it's done measuring the mat, click the go button to begin cutting. When it's all finished, just click unload. Flip the mat over and gently peel it away from the vinyl. Cutting the rest of the mats is pretty similar. Just remember to use the correct setting for each material and place it shiny side down for iron-on and shiny side up for adhesive. For a permanent glossy vinyl like this, use the premium vinyl material setting. Then set the pressure to more and cut. Last up is the red shimmer vinyl. Now I'll choose the smart vinyl shimmer material setting. I'm not actually using smart vinyl, which normally doesn't require a mat, but the Cricut Joy doesn't have a regular shimmer vinyl setting, but this setting worked great for me. Once again, set the pressure to more and then cut. Step three, weed your designs and apply your vinyl to mugs. Once all your decals have been cut, trim away any intact vinyl that you can use for another project, and then use your weeding tool to carefully remove the excess vinyl from the designs. In my test, all of the vinyls weeded pretty easily, but take your time and remember to move all the little bits inside the letters. Be extra careful not to accidentally remove any of the dots above your eyes, too. If a piece that you need comes up, just stick it back in place so the correct side faces up. When you're done weeding, clean your mug with a lint-free cloth and a little isopropyl alcohol to wipe away any oil or dust. That can make any vinyl not stick or will even cause bumps, so you want your mug to be really clean. The application process depends on your material, so I'll demonstrate a few techniques that you can follow. First, permanent vinyl. The best way to apply adhesive vinyl to a mug is transfer tape. It comes in different types, but I use standard grip strength tape for gloss vinyl, like this test. First, cut a piece of standard grip transfer tape slightly larger than your design. Peel off the liner and then curve your transfer tape into a taco shape or a U shape, sticky side down. Then carefully apply the curved section to your, the middle of your decal. And then use your fingers to smooth the transfer tape over the vinyl from the center outward. Then use your scraper tool to burnish it well on both the front and the back. Gently peel up the transfer tape to lift up the vinyl from its backing. If any areas stick to the backing, lay it back down and burnish again before giving it another try. And here's a fun hack. To stabilize your mug, just lay it on a thin roll of painter's tape. The general rule is to place your decal on the side facing outward if the mug is held in your right hand, so I'm going to point my handle to the left. Then hold the decal over the mug and center it. Gently curve up the edges into the taco shape and press it down onto the mug. If you don't like the placement, it's easier to adjust if it's not all stuck down at once. Press the transfer tape down with your fingers and burnish your scraper over the whole design to transfer it to the mug. Slowly peel the transfer tape away to reveal your super cute coffee mug design. Now let's do some shimmer permanent vinyl. 
The shimmer vinyl applies pretty much the same way as the permanent vinyl, but it requires strong grip transfer tape, which is quite a bit stickier than the standard grip. Follow the exact same steps as the last mug, just spend a bit more time burnishing the decal to the mug. That strong grip transfer tape needs encouragement to release the vinyl. How cute is that? Now for something a little different, iron-on vinyl. It needs to heat to transfer and the mug's curved surface might have you stumped, but don't worry. First, place the iron-on vinyl on the mug so you can read the design through the carrier sheet. Use a few pieces of heat-resistant tape to keep it in place. I got the best results by using the small curved surface on my Easy Press Mini. Preheat it to the hottest setting. You should see three squiggly lights. When it's all ready, use the tape roll to stabilize the mug, and then press directly against the vinyl on the mug with medium pressure. Press for about 30 seconds over each section of the design. Once everything is hot, use the press's point to apply more heat and pressure to the vinyl. In my test, I found that using the press's point to really focus on each letter helped them stick better. Press firmly, but not so hard that your press slips. Work your way across the words and press each letter to really get them well adhered. When the clear carrier sheet is cool to the touch, gently begin peeling it away from the mug. If any areas of vinyl lift from the mug, lay the carrier sheet back down and apply a few more seconds of heat and pressure. Once the carrier sheet is cool, try peeling it away again. And you can go one step further to really get your vinyl well adhered to your mug. Set your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius and bake your mug on a baking sheet for 15 minutes. Unlike with sublimation, it's fine to use your regular oven for this. After baking, use an oven mitt to remove your baking sheet and mug from the oven, then let it cool before handling. When I did this extra step, the iron-on vinyl looked and felt even more well adhered to the mug than the press alone. And here are all of my finished coffee mug designs. I really love how they turned out, but they definitely make me want a cup of yummy coffee. I love coffee. But how do they and the others hold up to washing and wear? That is the question. So didn't these turn out amazing? You could build your own collection or these might make a wonderful last minute gift for a friend that comes together super fast. All in all, I tested nine different types of vinyl for ceramic coffee mugs. And as I mentioned, they all cut really well on my joy using the material settings that I shared. They all weeded about the same too. Now the Caesar Easy PSV, which is a permanent adhesive vinyl, weeded easily because the backing is really slick and releases the extra vinyl without trouble. But that slickness also allowed some of the small letters to slide around a bit. So make sure everything is in the right spot if you try that brand. Now most of the adhesive vinyls transferred well with some good burnishing to a clean mug. The Cricut Permanent Vinyl did need some extra burnishing on both sides to move it from its backing to the transfer tape. So take your time with that one. Don't leave any letters on the backing sheet. And then I tested the most important factor, how well they hold up in the dishwasher. And I'm so happy to report that when washing on a normal cycle with the mug in the top rack, every single one of my nine test mugs passed with flying colors. I know, I was shocked too. But great materials make for great results, right? This is why we test. Overall, my favorite mug-friendly vinyl ended up not being Cricut vinyl at all. That's right, the HTV Rant permanent vinyl that I demonstrated with, as well as the Oracle, which is right here, uh, both and, and both in black gloss, were the smoothest to cut and the easiest to weed. And they both applied really well to the mugs. And of course, they stood up well in the top rack of the dishwasher too. Now, Cricut Everyday Iron-On, which I've got right here, is a more challenging technique, but it also produced a really nice looking and durable feeling result, especially with that added bake time in the oven. I found that Cricut's Shimmer Vinyl, the Holographic Sparkle Vinyl, and the Color Changing Vinyls all worked really well too. And since they come in so many colors, you have tons of options to try.
All of the vinyl I used are really great options and I hope this makes you feel more confident to make your own vinyl decal mugs. So while no vinyl peeled off of my mugs after one run through the dishwasher, of course you may have a different experience. And if you do, I would love to hear about it in the comments because things happen, right? Uh, so if you wanna ensure that your mug holds up, check out my tutorial on how to use Mod Podge as a sealant on vinyl decorated mugs. It's over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Mugs Seal Vinyl. And if you're in the mood to create more mugs, I've got so many tutorials for you. You can learn how to make infusible ink mugs, sublimation mugs, even mugs decorated with Sharpie. Just go to my blog at jennifermaker.com and search for mugs in the search bar. Now, if you have any questions about working with vinyl, transfer tape, mugs, or anything else craft related that you think I can help you with, just let me know. You can leave your question below this video or come ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. Come post and share your vinyl coffee mugs. I would love to see them. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.